half it like and and hello it's full and welcome back to Chad Minka's collection adventure gonna pick up where we left off from last time we're trying to get our club on the go the park people so I think that we need to do some social interactions to invite people into the club but yeah I've got it the wrong way around <laughs> Much simpler than that. After a while, we figure it out. After hovering over lots of different buttons, so we can add different people to the club. Add in our old flame, the gold space woman. And a few random people. This guy with the bowler hat and the mutton chops. Very smart. The descendant of Tina Tinker. So we've got to do different activities that we've selected that the club wants to do. And we've got to keep them there for <laughs> 12 hours, <laughs> which may be a drain on their uh, needs, but never mind. Since we've got the tent on us, we decide to pop it down, we decide to do a Dave Grohl. Paparazzi watching, taking pictures and everything. It's all over in about five seconds. The excitement of it all got too much for him. Yeah, so we're going to have a secret baby with Deborah. And hopefully we'll be able to complete the aspirations of being friends with three kids. Don't want to add, add any more people to our household. The game runs poorly as it is. So if we can have another baby, but not have to worry about it, <laughs> then we're good. So after making them all the meal and thanking them for their patience, they go all the way through the night into the next day <laughs> and hang out for 12 hours. So we let them go after a little while, can't keep them forever come home and take care of everyone, do some tidying up, sell some spare stuff from the inventory, get rid of emotion bomb with a quirk be gone, the usual stuff. And we had to talk to all the different club members and Deborah ran off, so when she comes back we're able to do that one interaction with her, ask her what she thinks of the club move on to the next part of the aspiration. We've got to get as many people into the club as possible. So this is what we want to spend our points on. Increasing the capacity for members. We'll add in another random person. I don't know what list it's drawn them from, it's maybe nearby sims. I knew the guy with the bowler hat and the mutton chops was a good choice. He understands the mission. He's actually doing some of the <laughs> club activities that's going to generate us some points. So we earn enough points just by looking for frogs repeatedly. That's the best thing to generate points. Easiest thing to spam. full squad and make them some food to thank them for their time as well. Poor Costanza's having trouble trying to get some plasma from people. Everyone's either resisting her or just bugging out and disappearing or just saying goodbye I have to go now. <laughs> like <laughs> an easy way out of it. <laughs> I'll try giving her some of the Plasm packs and fruit, but we know it's no use. She needs the good stuff. So we want to do the last bit of Eco Innovator. Do some voting. We have to vote on something twice. Have a look and see what we want. 
doesn't really matter. Just pick something, then come out of it, then go back into it and vote it again. That gets us the that part of the aspiration done. And then we've just got the final part to go, where we have to attempt to convince a sim to go voting. Paparazzi. So we try and find the interaction. To ask them. Convince them to vote a certain way. We can't find it. Trying to make good decisions. Cost in school. So we give up on him, can't find it. So then we ask Wiki. See if we can find it, you know, asking different people. Maybe we maybe these people aren't in our neighborhood, you know, we have to make sure that we're asking the right people. So you know, try a bunch of people. Find the menu, convince, but we've only got four options, and none of them are convinced to vote. Ripley has fewer options. So when she gets back from work, we try it with her, because she needs to do the same thing to complete the aspiration too busy looking at the wheel of options and she eats the cake and gets eaten by Mr. Moo. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> she gets her own juice back, scoops it back up. Yeah, we struggle. We can't find this option. And of course, the voting window is limited time. Very frustrating. So after consulting the internet, it says we need the community voting board in the neighbourhood somewhere, otherwise we don't get the dialogue option. <laughs> and then it's like the only community board is in Evergreen Harbour, so you'd have to start there. So I'm like, right, okay, we'll do the same thing as we did with the dumpster. We'll find the community board and we'll just pop it down and then we can It'll be as in part of our neighbourhood, and then we can get the dialogue option, and then we'll get it done, you know. And it's just not there. I, I turn on the cheats so we can find every single possible object, and I look through every single possible object. It's just not there. Try changing it to a community space to see if it'll give us a board, and it's like, you can't have this as a community space because you don't have a board. I'm like, I know I don't have a board. I want a board. You're not giving me a board. Please give me a board. I'll take one, but no. Here is the only community voting board and it's in this neighborhood. So if we wanted to complete the aspiration, we'd have to start off here. And it's much like the city native one where we can't give someone an apartment key unless we move to a different place, move to the right neighborhood to get the right interaction. And even here, I don't get the option to try and convince them to vote because I'm not part of their neighbourhood. So it doesn't come up here anyway, so... I've tried everything, you know. It's an hour of my life, I'm not getting back. <laughs> so we're just going up into the dialogue box. We've already done some cheating in the park. We're going to do some cheating in the dialogue box. We're going to get the aspiration completed. Because it's one of these things we would have had to have been started in the Evergreen Harbour neighbourhood. We wanted to get that n done legitimately. The same with the City Native one. So the City Native one, we'll have to do it again because we can't have an apartment worth 100,000. We can do all the other bits and bobs of it. So yeah, in the name of not trying to move house, even though all the vacant lots are taken, Certainly with the city living one, I don't think I'd be able to find an empty apartment to move into. So I think that's fair. As I say, I spent an hour trying to do it legitimately. <laughs> tried everything, I did, you saw it, I tried everything. Same for Ripley, we're going to give it to her. I want her to have grandchildren. Give us some grandchildren for Ted. So at some point, 
Yeah, we're gonna have to get her to move out and get a love life and have some children. That was the idea of we have a baby with Deborah and she's looking after it. And we just have to encounter that baby at some point as Ted and say hello and develop a good reputation, get a good instant friendship. That should get him through that part of his aspiration. Yes, Deborah is definitely showing. <laughs> Plan is underway. So we eventually get our thousand points generated for our club. That gets us our aspiration completed. Our leader of the pack. There's lots more club perks that we could pick. I have no intention of ever doing the club thing again after this. <laughs> Got the aspiration done, but I'm sure it could be a fun thing to play with. You get boosts and moodlets and things like that. And so you could spend a lot of points, get some cool matching outfits and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it could be fun to play about with, but nah, beyond getting the aspiration done, don't worry about that. Switch up to party animal. See if we can get any parties done. Spooky party is fun. We were able to get the silver last time fairly easily. Go we'll find our guests. Don't want to invite Deborah over, that might be a bit awkward. Lady with cool purple hair. Come over, tell us all about your cool purple hair. And just need to get a few parties done. Try and get silver. Make some progress in the aspirations we're least fond of. Or we're thinking about a strategy to get our way to the ones we do want to do. So we managed to get our silver. And a couple of fires. Not care taking care of the filth fiends and the dust bunnies. I'm sure that's what does it. But yeah, they're used to it by now. Nothing a little Reperio won't fix. able to do a gold event when it's a holiday. So we end prank day, not that we usually care much about that. Again, go through, we'll invite some of our park people. <laughs> yeah, I'm not coming to the park, sorry, but you can come over for a party instead. A good trade off. Get the maid to be the cook. <laughs> get him an extra job. I might get paid for this one, but probably not. Free services probably cover it. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, I'm trying to take better care of getting rid of the bunnies and stuff. Costanza's costume's amazing. <laughs> it's like a llama unicorn thing. She's not really threatening, even when she's <laughs> getting the plasma. <laughs> yeah, way to feel less threatened by your intimidating vampire wife. <laughs> what an outfit. Amazing. <laughs> Wanted to wear that all the time. So yeah, we're powering through many of these parties done, try and get onto the next stage of it, see what it is. <laughs> Even in the thumbnail it's great, what an outfit. <laughs> yeah, I've played this game a long time but they still randomly pop on outfits that I've never seen before. Try 
try we're just going with the the family try to do all the roles of being guests and being the staff as well it doesn't really work out the game gets easily confused managed to get this over of course oh get a notification <laughs> It's another girl. Yep. In my different playthroughs, that's going to be child number six or seven. They've all been girls. <laughs> Never a male born to any of the characters. So the bills are still low, still about 400,000. Getting more than that in the interest, so. I will definitely have to pop down the vault at some point. He's got a project. Get her needs taken care of and then get her on that. Apparently Costi wants to challenge us to a, a magic jewel. <laughs> when Ted goes over to Batu. Yeah, I'm still giving this a go as well, trying to get these last two lightsaber hilts. Have a look in the crates. Do the jewels. Not much else I can do. I went round all the places that sell things, but none of them have it. Try to buy things at the hollow table and from various people. From the scoundrel guy. So I'll look through all their inventories and things they have to offer. Yeah, no hilts. That we need. Everybody's fallen out with Costanza because they're fed up with her drinking on Wiki, I think. <laughs> they're either fed up of seeing it or they're like friends of Wiki and they're sad about it. And Phil Fiends are just appearing out of nowhere instantly with a dust bunny friend. This is a bit of a disaster. Taking care of this place is impossible. Got a paparazzi intruder because we left the gate open after the party, of course. And he manages to come into the house. <laughs> this guy's really annoying. <laughs> Try to do things the right way around and like tell him to go away and like he just comes further in the house. <laughs> Try to send him home like eventually he leaves. But then the inspector comes around. We haven't seen the inspector the whole time because we've had the gate locked. Get her interest in so we've got loads of cash. Yeah, the inspector is fine with us. Get the interest again. The game's definitely bugging. <laughs> it's only been a day since the last time we got the interest. If that. We've got to have a party in five different locations, but we can't have a party here when in a vacation place. That's sad. I want to try and lightsaber battle people. Just like see if any of them want a random jewel rather than going to the the place and requesting a sort of formal jewel. But none of these people have a lightsaber. And the one person who's a rebel scum uh, who we try and have a lightsaber jewel with, we think they might have a lightsaber. Then the option doesn't come up to have a lightsaber battle with them. Like not even greyed out. So yeah, we're back to trying to get stuff from the sort of formal battles. We're like, this is pointless. We only get crystals. And then one time we get a lightsaber hilt, but it's one of the common ones. It's like, okay, so one in every hundred battles you get a hilt and it might be the right one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to keep coming back here. <laughs> so yeah, I go around the place. To open up some crates, you know, give it a legitimate shot. I, again, I looked it up on the internet, but now you just got to keep at it. So yeah, we've got maximum money. We'll pop it away. We'll come back next time and pick up where we left off from. Till then, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.